What is going on, dudes? Welcome to the first episode of my new Banished Let's Play series. Banished is a new game by Shining Rock Software, which is actually uh, its a sweet name for a dev company, but also it's actually only one guy. It is a single dude bringing you all this awesomeness. Uh, it's City Building Sim, if you don't already know about it. It is brand new. It's been out for a day. Um, but I've been playing it like I haven't like I don't need sleep which is uh you know that's not true but uh anyway so I wanted to show you guys it and uh I think it's really awesome I think it's really intense uh and a lot of fun so let's uh let's get cracking um basically obviously here's you know got a couple settings a couple solid settings um I'm gonna actually clip the mouse to the window um go through the tutorials the tutorials explain <laughs> it's simple simple to get into difficult to master kind of a thing so the tutorials explain everything and they're very valuable so you should definitely go through them but the wiki also for the game is uh at best the dis the in-game descriptions of things so there's there's not a lot about how to combine the things in game to give success so, uh, so hopefully that's something that uh, we can figure out together as we go through here. So I'm just going to start a new game uh, tell you a little bit about these settings. I'm going to go with Dukeburg. Dukeburg. Dukeville. Duketon Town. Duke Town. Dukington. Duke. 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 Uh, yeah, Dukesburg. Let's go with... I'm going to click this a bunch of times. Give me a good seed. And that one. Leet. <laughs> it's, it's, it's meant to be. So we'll go with valleys. Uh, large terrain size. Climate fair. Yeah. It's about average, right? Harsh. Not what we want. Until we're awesome at the game, I guess. Um, disasters on. Let's start hard. So basically, the premise of the game is that a group of villagers... Uh, couple families are banished from their hence the name banished banished from their old uh their old place of living their old civilization and they are you know they're like let's let's get out of this joint and then they head over and start on uh, start their own place they're like we can do this we don't need these people um so easy is six families basically which is more people to start with more people to get more things done medium five families um it also this also limits your starting resources and hard so with hard which is what we're going to do only four families there's like 12 or 16 people a small amount of clothing food firewood and tools it might even be eight people uh, no seeds for farming are available um so we'll get into what that means exactly soon but we're gonna get into it right away we're just gonna jump on in uh, and it does this awesome little thing here just under loading it says finding a place to start <laughs> restricting camera angles creating iron deposits coloring terrain there's a couple more fun ones in there uh weaving initial clothing it just it makes me think of reticulating splines from you know from sim city which is a, a game like this so let me just give you a couple ideas of what we're going to be doing right off the get-go okay um first tip if you're just going to jump in gung-ho you're going to need to know this uh in here which is the tools and reports button you can also hotkey f2 um this window right up here this is your lifeline and you can keep this minimized which is one thing i really love about this game you could play the entire game virtually like this with nothing on the screen i really love that uh, i love being able to do that if i want to so uh, but you will need this window and this will tell you everything that you need to know about the supplies that you have the number of people so we have eight adults and 11 kids that is a lot of kids but that's cool because we need kids kids grow up into adults um and here's all your stuff so what we are concerned with primarily is food then firewood and then the other resources now we're going to need some resources initially um to build houses because we're going to need houses um, but first, even before houses, is food. Okay, so it's going to be food, houses, firewood in that order. We got to hustle because it goes right through the year. Uh, so let's get started on that, and then as we get moving, um, as we get moving, 
we will talk more about other things. So uh, right now, this is the town center, essentially. And you can move people around because this cart doesn't have to stay here. But uh, for right now, this is where all the stuff is. So it kind of does. Um, and there's no right or wrong way to play. Let's zoom out here a little bit before we actually hit the play button. Um, here's what's around us. So we appear to be quite a distance i think we can f we we should be able to fish in here so that'll be okay but we're gonna need to get to a river a river we're gonna need to get to a river we're gonna need to get to a river for a trading port huh well this is gonna be a real challenge for us but that's all right we're gonna need to get to a river for a trading port so we'll be able to have a trading port like here somewhere maybe here probably Let's see what this looks like down here probably here so why am i scouting this out well this is going to this is going to determine how you're going to lay your town out now there's no right or wrong way to play really and to highlight that fact there is no tech tree every building and thing you can make in the game is available immediately so in games like SimCity, where you can race to a certain tech which will solve a bunch of problems um getting to techs before you're actually ready uh can solve some problems but actually mostly just creates new problems that you might not be able to catch up with and it will lead to the downfall of your civilization let's just get after it here enough chit chat let's get to it we're going to turn the time on uh, so we're going to need to assign people to do some things first let's have everybody just start clearing some junk out so we're not going to need any of this so let's have people just start doing that now people that aren't assigned specific tasks are laborers and laborers if we bring up the uh, jobs window okay jobs professions whatever um, as we bring up the professions window you see all eight people are assigned as laborers what I like to do is immediately assign three builders okay and these will be people to construct things. Now, they're going to mull around. The AI in this game for these villages is pretty solid. I'm pretty pleased with it. Okay. Uh, we need three builders. So we're going to have one builder. Well, we're going to build a stockpile. And stockpile is in here where the storage markets and trade are. Uh, storage barn is good. We're going to make a stockpile. And this is where people are going to put their crap. Um, and let's, let's make it in line with this. Actually, we'll put it out here, and this will make sense in a second. I'm gonna make this stockpile not too big, five by five. So now, as people are clearing this stuff out, they are going to start putting it in the stockpile, and the stockpile needs to be readily accessible to everybody uh, that is gathering resources because they will put the resources in that stockpile. Furthermore, when people go to take things for building purposes, they will put them and take them from the same stockpile so i'm just going to make a little road here a little bit of a road roads increase the speed that people can move when they're doing things so they're important don't know why everything stopped just then but you know that's cool that's cool so we need some so we need this the second thing we need is food so let's get some food going now one of the great ways to get food early in the game which is here and I think even later in the game, honestly, I've had a town for like 20 years, 20 some years with basically a gatherer's hut. Um, so let's rotate this. I'm just hitting R to rotate. You can hit T to rotate in the opposite direction. Now you can see the faint yellow line, and that is the area of influence. So there are some things that work well in conjunction. So this will go well, and I'm just keeping this online with that main street just to save in the end. say right there okay so some things work well together so the next thing that we need I'm just gonna let my it's gonna let my builder uh, work their way out there and start building that stuff um, the next thing we will need is the is a forester so we can get some firewood and uh, so that would be uh, these are the city things which are cool which we will definitely go through in a second but basically um, the forester woodcutter type thing forester lodge these are going to be important these are going to be important these are all pretty much integral right 
I don't know why the game keeps pausing. I'm definitely not doing it. But here's our gatherer's hut. Uh, it's hard to see because it is in the middle of the forest. But, um... So let's build... Let's build a forester lodge. And we can see that that is overlapping. Let's rotate it so it's like this. And right... Is that, is that right? Is that online? Yes. Right there. Perfect. Build that Forester Lodge. Now let's build some houses. Just gonna throw some wood houses down. Let's go with three houses. We're actually going to need four houses. We'll rotate this one and slap this house. Actually, we'll keep the house on this side. So this is a balancing game. This game is a game about balancing out resources and balancing out the time scale. And the time scale is something that's really kind of awesome for this game because um, it may take a long time for what you do to actually to feel the impact for what you've done which is in some ways a little scary in other ways really awesome and cool you got to take it seriously um let's just have these people keep gathering these things and let's keep a look here so we're just going to speed this up i usually play around two or five So in here we can see how many people are focused on building what. So I'm actually going to have one person working on that. I have one person working on that. And then we'll get the other person to build a road. And the road, again, the road helps people move quickly. And as we go along here, we will talk about other key game concepts. What do we have here? The reserve of logs is low. The reserves of logs is always low. It's always low. It's not really always low, but have that third builder working on this far out do we go here there we go so I'll just help everybody get in and out quickly and then so these are all low and we know that they are because we just started. We don't have anything. So then the next thing that we'll do is we kind of click through here so you can see all of the stuff is uh, we're going to build another stockpile right near these guys. So these guys will be able to these guys will be able to just dump what they have and get out and keep chopping. And we have the gatherer's hut. Let's see. Almost done being built. done being built also which is sweet not almost but it's on the way just throwing a couple more stone in there looks like now there's just kind of there's there's a couple different theories going on again like I said before the the wiki is incomplete at best um, just showing basically only only what is going on in in-game tips um, this guy's working here and that's just not that's not gonna cut it so I'm thinking that more of a modular system is more efficient in terms of stockpiles because people will spend a lot of time going from stockpile to stockpile and that is not not good a lot of time is wasted taking their things from where they were to from where they were or where they gathered the materials to another location. So if we can have several stockpiles spread out evenly throughout the land and near different different uh, different work centers, I think that is going to be the most efficient way. And I have I have I mean the game just came out. I just got my grubby little mitts on it, so not a huge amount of testing able to be done on that theory, but so far it looks like it's making sense. So we have one guy on here. We have one person on here of three. So that must mean we have one working on here. Right there is where they are. Okay, cool. 
So those are being built. Now we are in early summer, so we do still have some time, so that is all right. So we have some houses coming up. We have uh, our Forester Lodge coming up, and we have our Gatherer's Hut coming up, which is our source of food. So those are good. Those are all good things. It's all good news. So we are on the right track. Now, a couple things about about this game that make it different while the villagers kind of move along doing their thing here. Um, I talked a little bit about, before about the speed of the game, the way the game progresses, and that is slow. And it's not slow in a boring way. It is slow in a considered way. Okay, so what you need to do is manage, <laughs> manage the screw-ups that you do, basically. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So what that means is it may take game years for you to truly feel and I mentioned this before it may take game years for you to truly feel how badly you have screwed up or how awesome and great your forethought and foresight was so we need food and I'm going to assign three people to do that uh, for right now and we have gonna have two people working on this which will be good this should be done shortly. And then we'll get these houses built. And then the next thing after we build those houses is going to <clears throat> excuse me, is going to have to be <clears throat> um Yeah, it's definitely gonna have to be a woodcutter. And we will throw the woodcutter over here. Sweet. So let's put Make sure we only ever get one person on there. We'll have uh, laborers come and start clearing things and putting our uh, putting our tools in the putting our tools and resources in the wood pile. Um, we're gonna have a forester and uh, foresters, and so these things work well together. And um, <clears throat> we're gonna we're actually gonna combine these two in this area of forest which is going to remain untouched and then we're gonna have the uh, we're gonna have another group another group of two people a uh, group of two buildings rather uh, two resource gathering buildings in another forest in another air force that is also going to remain untouched um, but basically um, so the gatherers hut works only works well in forests and the Forester Lodge harvests, but also replants and therefore maintains forests. So we put them next to each other, which because uh, they work well together. Now, this is not far from here, so uh, or from here. So the woodcutter is actually going to take logs harvested from trees, put into stockpiles here or over here, and turn them into firewood and firewood is going to keep you warm in the winter so that is crucial it is critically important it is critically important so the first seven times i started playing the game i had people starve to death or freeze to death you need this to really make this worth anything but not necessarily i mean i think we may have built the forester lodge a little bit early um the gatherer's hut is critical it's a great source of food early game um, so we see the average health of the citizens is pretty good. Um, their health will stay higher if they have a greater variety of food sources. The gatherer's hut has a great variety of food, uh, food that the, that the, the gatherers that are working there will bring in. So that's awesome. So that's good. That's, that's why it's such a good, a good source of food early in the game. see how we're doing here first house coming up all these poor homeless people so the next thing that we'll do after we get food settled warmth settled housing settled what we're gonna do is build a school now this is unproven and untested so I don't know if that's gonna work but what a school does is allows you to create educated villagers and educated villagers are key because they work more efficiently so that means they will be able to harvest more materials from fewer things so that that efficiency just really kind of you you need that that's just that's just that's going to be critical so let's uh let's harvest some more stone 
Now I could just do the harvest all resources thing. Um, but I'm selecting only to harvest stone because I don't want to take these trees down. I'm going to let these trees be managed by the forester because they are within within range of the forester. So we're going to let the forester do his thing there. Love the sound of work happening, huh? <laughs> the game is intense. There's a bit of waiting involved. Again, I usually play between 2x and 5x. There's a bit of waiting involved. But the waiting kind of is more of an anticipatory waiting. Like, oh my god, I hope I made the right decision kind of waiting. Then a, uh, this is boring kind of waiting. It's not as quickly paced as other games may be. But it is a city building game, so we're watching people evolve over time. So that's important. That's part of it. So we want to get rid of this storage cart eventually, uh, but we have no place to put that food and stuff in there. Those coats or tools. So we're going to need a place to put those eventually, but we want to get down our food, our housing, and warmth first before we actually get in there and, and tear that up. So you can see right now, this is the only place to store food. And so gatherers from the gatherer's hut are walking this entire way just to deposit goods here. And that that's kind of an inefficient, a kind of an inefficient way to do it. So we want to move, move where the food is stored or gathered from here to a different place that's more centrally located. So halfway between here and where our houses are will be a better spot um, and for that we're going to actually throw up a storage barn so this is a place to hold food clothes textiles and tools so that's where we're headed next So it looks like we're just waiting on our builders to get in there and finish building. So basically, uh, we're not gonna. I'm not gonna drag this this whole thing out. We're not gonna wait through here. We're gonna go ahead and uh, get working on future episodes here. But I just wanted to give you guys a quick introduction to the game, a quick rundown of what's what I think separates this from other city building games and simulator type games like that. Show you my choice moves my these are my personal choice moves um for getting a decent start on a new town and a new village and we are playing on hard so you know hey we're figuring it out as we go we don't have a huge amount of guidance yet so you know it's going to take some time it's going to take some experimentation be prepared to fail but we're going to learn as we go and i hope you guys will get as into this game as i am this oh man i just i can't wait just the intensity oh hope hopefully our hopefully our decisions that we've made are working out so um that is it for this episode i do truly hope you dudes enjoyed watching i hope you guys are getting into this game like i am check out my youtube channel for other let's plays and gaming vids i truly appreciate every single comment like and sub and i do truly appreciate every single view thank you dudes so much for watching and see real duke and i'm out